Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on sedimentary rocks. We're looking at the chapter on rocks and we're going to look at sedimentary rocks, the formation of them and what actually makes, um, what minerals make up rocks, of like sedimentary rocks. So sedimentary rocks, well, what are they okay? Uh, well sedimentary rocks are, the, the formation of them is when basically weathering and erosion uh, break down bits of sediment. And then what happens to these fragments, over time uh, these fragments are compressed, so like they're squeezed by the weight of the overlying uh, sediments on top of them. And they're compacted into, uh, to form sedimentary rocks. Okay, so just wrote down there uh, the definition for sedimentary rocks. So it's when weathering and erosion breaks down existing rocks into bits of, of like sediments, which we call fragments. These sediments or fragments are then compressed by the sheer weight of the overlying uh, sediments on top of them. And then they're compacted into sedimentary rocks. One thing that you need to know is that uh, they're usually laid down in layers, okay? And we call the, uh, those layers strata. So I've just wrote down there that they develop layers, and these layers we call our strata. And one thing to note that is, because these sediments are deposited over time and at different rates, successive strata are, are separated by bedding planes, and the bedding planes are really like uh, defined, okay? They've got definite uh, bedding planes between the, the, between the layers, between the strata. And the layers of sediment are converted into solid rock by a process of that which is called litification, and litification is basically when the rocks, when these fragments are compressed and compacted. So when rocks, when fragments are compressed and compacted, um, into these solid sedimentary rocks, this is called litification. So there we have it. I wrote down a few different uh, points there. So definite bedding planes between the between the strata, between the layers, and litification is a process of converting. Uh, fragments or these sediments into solid rock through compaction and cementation. So compaction is basically the grains are compressed, they're squeezed together uh, by the weight of the overlying uh, sediments on top and cementation is individual particles are bonded to one another by cementing agents and these use, this, the cementing agent that usually does this is silica or calcium carbonate. So it's like a natural like cement that, that forms. So now that we understand like how sedimentary rocks are formed, we're going to look at um, how we actually group sedimentary rocks. And sedimentary rocks are grouped according to the origin, okay? So actually how they're actually formed. And there's three different ways that they can be actually formed. The first one is organically formed. So organic. You formed. The second one is mechanically formed. And the third one is chemically formed. So chemically formed. And now we're going to look at each of these three different uh, ways of forming sedimentary rocks. In more detail. So let's first start off with organically formed sedimentary rocks. Okay, so we're going to look at organic sediment, uh, sedimentary rocks. And the first thing we need to know is like, what is organic sedimentary rocks? Well, there are basically the remains of once living uh, organisms, such as sea creatures and plants, that were that were uh, compacted together, and to form uh, sedimentary rocks. So there we have it. If you want to take that down, so organic sedimentary rocks were remains of once living uh, things, such such as plants and sea creatures, that were compacted together to form sedimentary rocks. And just remember from earlier on in the video that um, these are compacted together because of the overlying weight of the sediments above them. An example of an organic sedimentary rock is limestone, um, and also another one that I just put in there is coal. So limestone and coal are two examples of the most common organic sedimentary rocks. Here are some pictures of limestone. Um, one thing to note is that limestone varies in colour. Um, so there's lots of different colours of limestone. The reason why it, it varies in colours is due to the impurities within the rock. And one good fact to know is that in limestone, 
uh, limestone is actually found in 31 out of the 32 counties in Ireland, with Wicklow being the only exception where limestone is not present. So we're going to look at limestone. Now one thing to note is that there's many different types of limestone. Um, and these include dolomite limestone, uh, chalk limestone, and uh, carboniferous uh, limestone. And the one that we're going to look at is uh, carboniferous uh, limestone. So carboniferous limestone, uh, we're going to look at some of the characteristics of carboniferous uh, limestone. The first thing is that it's formed because of uh, the remains of dead sea creatures in warm shallow seas. So this uh, conifer uh, carboniferous limestone, it's the remains of dead creatures compacted in warm shallow seas. That's how it was formed. The rock itself is very hard and it's stratified. So it's got lots of strata, so it's got lots of layers. In between the stratified rock, in between the layers, is what we call the bedding planes. And these bedding planes are lines of weaknesses. Um, the rock itself is impermeable except along the bedding planes because it's where it's at lines of weakness so they can act, uh, uh, the water can actually uh, filter, uh, permeate down through it. It's a jointed rock, um, just meaning that like there's lots of joints in it. And it's compacted into... It's compacted because of the sheer weight of the sediments uh, overlying it. The next thing you need to know is that the rock itself is cemented. Um, and it's, so cement is held together through natural um, cement, um, which is the calcium carbonate. The, uh, the carboniferous limestone uh, consists of at least 50% of calcium carbonate. Uh, the colour of this... Uh, carboniferous limestone is usually grey and the use of this uh, of limestone include building materials and raw materials for um, for cement so limestone is the most common uh, type of rock in, in Ireland and it is exposed in regions such as the Burren in County Clare and we sometimes uh, expose limestone is known as like karst la landscapes um, and the burn in County, in County Clare is your example that you should use for when you're talking about this uh, question, if you've got a question on this, when you're answering this question. So like we said, we looked at conif uh, carboniferous uh, limestone. There are uh, dolomite limestone and there's chalk limestone. For example, chalk limestone is different. Um, usually chalk is like pure um, white colour limestone. It's, it's, a very, it's not hard like the conif... Uh, the kind of, the carboniferous uh, limestone, it's very soft, um, and it's very very easy for, for, for chalk limestone to be eroded away. At one stage, the chalk limestone covered most of Ireland, but it's been eroded away mostly. So that's it, um, for looking at the organically formed uh, sedimentary rock. Um, so we looked at how they are formed, and then we looked at uh, carboniferous limestone. The next thing we're going to look at is mechanically formed uh, sedimentary rocks, which is sometimes known as uh, inorganic uh, sedimentary rocks. We're going to look at them now. The next thing we're going to look at is mechanically uh, formed sedimentary rocks, or sometimes they're known as inorganic sedimentary rocks. And inorganic sedimentary rocks were formed from sediments that are broken down by weathering and erosion from pre-existing rocks. Okay, so there are rocks that pre-existed before, and then they were broken down because uh, through the processes of erosion and weathering. So I've just wrote down what the mechanically formed sedimentary rocks are, or inorganic rocks, a uh, little definition if you want to take that down. Um, and then we're going to look at like an example of um, inorganic sedimentary rocks, and probably the, the, the most famous one would be uh, sandstone. So sandstone, one thing to know is that it's the second most common type of rock in Ireland, after limestone. And it was basically formed um, mainly from grains of sand, in a hot desert climate. And what happened here is the sand, the, these grains of sand were deposited in, in on land or in very, very shallow areas and then they were basically like compressed together. So they went through the process of litification. So I'll just wrote a few notes here. The second most common type of rock in Ireland, red kind of orange in colour, formed when the grains of sand were deposited on land or very shallow water in a hot desert area and then it went through the process of litification where 
the rocks uh, or all the sediments, uh, the fragments were compacted together and cemented together. So I said here that uh, cementation so so happened by the calcium carbonate and the silica was the ones that actually cemented the the fragments uh, together to form uh, sandstone. Sandstone is found in County Cork. It's found in a lot of in large parts of Munster, but uh, Cork is a an example of county you can use. With the formation of uh, sandstone, it has uh, layers as well, so it's stratified, and it's also got a bedding plane uh, between the two layers. Okay, between the two strata, there is a bedding plane. Okay, so I wrote down a few little points there. Uh, so stratified, and then there's bedding plane between the two different layers. The last one that we're going to look at, um, the last type of sedimentary rock that can be grouped into is chemically formed sedimentary rocks. And chemically formed sedimentary rocks uh, uh, form when water is evaporated from sea areas. And then what happens then, all the sediments are compacted together by the sheer weight of the mud and the sand into stratified rocks. Okay, so I wrote down a uh, little definition there if you want to take it down for it. Uh, chemically formed sedimentary rocks, so they're formed when the water is evaporated from the areas, from sea areas, and then all the sediment is compacted together by the sheer weight of the, the mud and the sand, and they form stratified rocks. A few other things you need to know is an example of a rock uh, that's chemically formed sedimentary rock would be gypsum. You can find it in County Cavan, and a use of it is that it's used in making uh, of plaster. So there you go, um, so you got gypsum rock, is one that's chemically formed sedimentary rock, found in County Cavan and used in making plaster. Okay, so I've put a little diagram down here that I think is uh, really helpful for when you're thinking of like sedimentary rocks. What you, so at the start you might have decayed vegetation and then after they're compressed and compacted and cemented, so after uh, you have uh, lithification, the decayed vegetation will turn into coal. When the same thing happens to all sand uh, fragments when they're compressed together, when they're compacted together and cemented together, these form uh, sandstone rocks. So sandstone. When mud is compressed, compacted and cemented together, it forms clay. When sediments are compacted, compressed and cemented together, they form rock. And the last one, when shells of sea creatures are cemented, compressed, compacted together, to form sedimentary rocks, they form limestone. Okay, I think that's really, really helpful just to just keep that to bear that in mind. Okay, and one that's quite uh, clear to us is like we can kind of do this ourselves. Like we often, if you ever pick up like mud yourself and you press it in, you squeeze it really hard in your hand, you can almost, you you can change it into to clay itself. And that's all that's happening is uh, like these fragments are just being changed. They're being compressed. Um, through the process of lithification and they're being compacted because of the overlying weight of the rocks on top of them and then they're being cemented by uh, calcium carbonate or silica to form um, either sandstone or limestone whatever it might be um, and that's how the, these sedimentary rocks are formed that's it for this tutorial and um, where we looked at the formation of uh, sed sedimentary rocks we looked at the three types of sedimentary rocks you can get uh, organic rocks inorganic rocks and chemically formed sed sedimentary rocks. I hope you enjoyed th this tutorial. If you learned something from it, could you remember to uh, tweet us and let us know. I love getting tweets on, on Twitter. Let us know how you, that, that if you enjoyed it. You can leave us some reviews on Facebook and you can also message us uh, on Instagram. Remember, you can also uh, get all of our videos on our website, examrevision.ie.